Hey there, this is Sam. Today we're going to learn how to create a tooltip using CSS. Let me create a new file here. Let me save this file inside uh, my documents, CS tutorials, and let me create a new directory here. This is the second lesson in the series. Let me save this file inside this directory. Yeah. And let me create one more file. Styles.css. Let me save this file inside this directory. Yeah. And let me put, uh, let me insert the HTML snippet here. And HTML tooltip in, sorry tip in CSS and I'm going to have a div with the class container inside that I'm going to have a button with btn class okay let's arrange this like and I'm going to have a sample text content here like button and let me include this CSS file here and let me open a file for the preview and documents CS tutorials okay first thing the first thing I want to do here is I just want to align this button to the center of the page for the demo purpose okay so before that I want to have a box sizing of border box so let me set to all the pseudo elements and all the elements box sizing border box so whenever you go with this kind of styles don't forget to add uh, vendor prefixes this is for a uh, chrome browser this is for mozilla browser okay now let me set the height of the HTML body container so I'm setting height as 100 percentage and now I want this this button to be at center of the page right so display flux align items and justificant and center now this will be perfectly aligned to the center of the page yes and I just want to have the body background color uh, color is 0e 83cd let's see this okay let's change the style for the button I don't want any border actually I don't want any border for this and no outline no background and I want to set the position as relative since I'm going to use uh, after and before pseudo elements here and uh, yeah I can give border color as 3 pixel solid white and I want to set the cursor as pointer and I'll set padding top and bottom as 25 pixel left and right as 80 pixel then letter spacing as one pixel and let me set the font size as 16 pixel because this is looks so small so i'm setting this as 16 pixel and the text transform to uppercase so i want all the letters in uppercase let's see this in action yeah this looks good and i want to change the color of the text also let me change it here triple f pure white yeah this looks fine i just want to have a, a animation when i over the button so let me add a very simple css here so i just want to uh, i just want to change the color of the text when i over so let me take this background color so 
so when i do this as you can see the text color is changing and i want to change the background color of this box to white so i want to have some little animation so let's see let's see this in action so btn after so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to have a uh, sorry let me set this as absolute first top zero okay and you can take the width of 100 percentage your parents width and i'm setting height as 100 percentage i'm not going to have 100 percentage anyway just showing it for the demo purpose i'm just going to set the content as null and okay fine anything else no yeah let's see this in action okay so since i set the background color as white now this is filled with the background color so actually i want to animate this background color like initially i want to have zero when i hover i want to fill this uh, button so let's see how to do this let me set this height as zero and let me add a transition property so i'm going to animate height so height and how long you want duration and ease and delay okay okay whenever i add this property i need to add window prefixes also so let me add webkit i'm sorry webkit and this is for mozilla yeah let me copy this same code paste it here also so let's see this in action we didn't add anything yet so now you can see the animation just it's changing the color but you can't see it. you can't see the animation properly so let me let me add a style here button over when button is over you just change the after uh, pseudo element and set the height to 100 percentage so it will animate now let's see this action but the problem is you can't able to see the text of the button right this particular layer is sitting over the button text okay so let's set this z index to minus one and see yeah this is fine now yeah so let's go to add a tooltip okay let me have a data attribute here data tip for simplicity i'm keeping like this okay i'm a tool tip i'm saved and let's test this here okay nothing will come here okay let me create a before pseudo element in this pseudo element i'm going to set this position as relay uh, absolute what happened okay and i want to set the background color to black and i want to have the border radius don't forget for this border radius you need to add vendor prefixes for simplicity i'm keeping like this so width uh, is 200 pixel and i want to have the padding of uh, top and bottom 10 pixel left and right 15 pixel yeah and i want to i want to set the content that's very important right so what we need to do is we need to take the content from the attribute right this attribute so let me copy this attribute and use this attribute and put this inside this so let me refresh now you can able to see this uh, tooltip text now we need to position it properly right so let's let's fix this lift 50 percent each okay now this is starting from the middle let's set transform property translate x 
minus 50 percentage so this will help us to uh, align this item to the center of the page let's see this yeah now this is aligned to the center let's set the bottom like 90 pixel let's see not sure yeah this is okay but little 95 pixel you just play around with this and you can have your own values let me set this as 100 pixel okay i want to have this tooltip only only i over this button right so initially i'll set uh, set the opacity to zero and i want to animate this so whenever you want to animate you need to have this transition properties so let me copy this since i have vendor prefixes also so here we are not going to uh, animate the height inside uh, instead we are going to use opacity so let me remove this all and put all simply so you can animate all the properties even though i'm not going to do that okay the button is over just change the before pseudo element like opacity to one that's it let's see this in action yeah it looks good right okay let's do one more thing uh, now this bottom is 100 pixel right let me change the bottom value to like 85 pixel let's see this in action this looks really cool right so let's change the text color here so text color to pure white okay this looks uh, this looks okay this looks really good okay but see the problem when i go here again the tooltip is coming it's wrong right whenever i go over here they should come not here right so this is because of this opacity right if when you set opacity this element still still placed here only so what you need to do is in you you need to set visibility property to hidden and here visibility to visible let's test this out when you go here there will be no there will not be any distraction okay this is how you can create a simple tool tips in css no need for the javascript you, are, you can simply create it actually you can add your own styles here to make it better i'm just keeping it simple for the demo purpose you can have your own styles okay thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can find the source code in the description area don't forget to don't forget to share with your friends thank you bye bye